So what we're trying to do with these problems is we're trying to solve the quadratic. We're trying to find out what value of x satisfies this equation. So a value of x that makes this x squared plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So one way to do this is to factorise where possible. Another way to do this is completing the square. That's a different video. You can look for it later. So let's think about factorising this. So factorising means bringing the math back to two brackets. Now it's x squared here, so we're going to have an x and an x because it's it times these two to get the x squared. The value at the end is plus and the value in the middle is plus, which means that both of these are going to be plus. Now we're after a number that multiplies together to give 1 and adds together to give 2. In this case, pretty simple, it's 1. 1 times 1 is 1, but 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is our factorised form of this equation. And now we know from our null factor law that one of these has to be equal to 0 in order for the whole thing to be equal to 0. So basically what we're saying is that x plus 1 must equal 0, so x must equal minus 1 when we rearrange that. Now you can substitute this back in here to check. So we've got minus 1 squared is 1, plus 2 times minus 1 would be negative 1, plus 1 would be 0. So we know that this is the correct maths. And if we were thinking about what does this quadratic look like, basically it's going to be a U because it's a quadratic and it's going to go through minus 1. And that's where it's going to turn in this instance. Now we can solve more complex looking quadratics the exact same way. Here we have a 2 in front of this. Now you can solve this by factorising and that's the way I'm going to do it. You could actually divide the 2 out in this instance but I think it's just easier just to solve by the factorising. So one of our brackets needs to be 2x and the other one going to be x because 2x times x will be 2x squared. And now we need to see what our signs are going to be. We've got a plus at the end um, which means they're going to be the same sign. In this case they're both going to be negative. So it's negative and negative because a negative times a negative gets you that plus and minus minus would get you the minus 20. Now if we're thinking about this what we can look at is our different factors. Uh, so we've got 2 and 1 and with different ways to come to 50. So we could have 50 and 1 um, and obviously 50 and 1 but neither of these are going to work when you think about your cross multiplying ways. So 2 50 so that's not going to work. 2 times 50 is 100 so that's not going to work. So if we really apply our thinking here we're going to have a 10 up here and a 5 down here and they're going to both be minus because they're both minus to get that plus 50. So minus 5 times minus 10 is 50 and then we cross multiply 2 times minus 5 is minus 10 1 times minus 10 is minus 10, so we end up with minus 10 minus 10, which gives us our 20. And if we read the maths off, one of our brackets is 2x minus 10, and the other of our brackets is x minus 5. So this is our factors that make up this equation. Now, according to the null factor law, one of these brackets must be equal to 0 to get 0 overall. So this times 0 would be 0 or this times 0 would be 0. So we can write them both out. So 2x take 10 must be equal to 0 or x take 5 must be equal to 0. So if we rearrange these to find what x is, move this over, plus 10 divided by 2, x will be 5 or x will be 5. Same thing. So again if we look at what that one would look like it'll be a u and it will go through 5. So only the one answered there. Alright let's look at one final example. This one I think they're trying to confuse us a little bit because it's not equal to 0. So in order to solve this as a quadratic, what we need to do is we need to make it equal to 0 first. So we're going to have x squared plus 7x and then we're going to take this 
take 12 over to the other side and on the other side it becomes plus 12 and now it equals 0. So we can solve this using factors uh, to find out what value of x makes this true. So we'll put in our brackets. It's going to be x by x to get the x squared. They're both going to be plus because we've got a plus at the end and a plus in the middle and we think of our factors to get 12 and then add up to 7 so it's 3 and 4 because 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 plus 4 is 7 so that all equals 0 now according to the null factor law again either x plus 3 is 0 because 0 times something could be 0 or x plus 4 is 0 because 0 times something could be 0 so we can write them both out x plus 3 must be equal to 0 or x plus 4 must be equal to 0 making x negative 3 or negative 4 when you move that over to the other side so you can substitute this answers negative 3 into here and you should get negative 12 you can substitute negative 4 into here and you should get negative 12 and from that you can check now again if we think about what would this look like then we're going to have the x-axis being hit at negative 3 and negative 4 so it's going to go through negative 3 and negative 4 and it's going to turn around somewhere below that because it's a positive x squared and a positive x squared looks like that it will be more on sketching later and that's how you solve a quadratic by factorizing and the null factor law.